We've heard how the bonuses are going to look pretty dismal for a lot of folks at the investment banking side this year, particularly in equities. Is there any spillover to what that means for their prospects in looking for positions in the hedge fund world? Sure. So uh, for context, I cover mostly alternative asset managers. But I think that given that there is such good talent on the sell side, that we will see opportunistically managers hiring that talent from the buy side. Um, historically, it's been very tough for managers to get their heads around hiring from the sell side when there's so much talent already mm. that's on the street from buy side. But managers, what they do best is they capture opportunities. So are there is there actually going to be expansion in hiring and hedge funds in 2020? Uh, you were pretty like bearish on the sector when we had you last year. I was. I was. I'm actually a little more optimistic this year. And part of the reason is this is a record year for acquisitions within our space. If you want to look at the larger side, um, Benefit Street's acquisition, or Franklin Templeton acquiring Benefit Street, um, Charles Schwab and TD deals, I think this leaves us with a lot of opportunity for talent, um, not necessarily new hires, but replacement hires. So we will see volume. I just don't know that these are going to be new positions, mostly upgrades. So, I mean, when you look at uh, a lot of the deals that we've had out there, private equity has sort of been one of the main drivers there. I would think that this would be a spot that you would see a lot of activity with regards to hiring. Absolutely. And one of the most interesting spaces that I see is the secondary space growing year over year. This year, we've seen about 50 billion in asset inflows versus hedge funds. Over the past six quarters, hedge funds have been losing assets. And this, I think this quarter, the number is about 36 billion of outflows in hedge funds. Mm. So we really see that reflected in the private equity side. Um, and I, I've seen numbers all over the place in terms of asset raising, uh, anywhere from 200 to 500 billion going into private strategies. So that also indicates that there's hiring new hires on the private side. What about when it comes to a market downturn, how is the PE space preparing for that? So a lot of pr private equity funds are hiring um, for new product lines. I would say that the most active hiring is um, on the team side is actually liquid products for, hedge, for hmm. private equity firms, when historically it's been the other way around. When you've had hedge fund managers in the past several years really focused on hiring private teams. But now I think private managers are realizing, OK, at some point, there's going to be a downturn. At some point, investors are going to need liquidity. We'd like to be that asset management firm that could provide them with those solutions. Right. In terms of 2020 and uh, trying to suss out different themes, what kind of strategies are best positioned to do well next year? We're bracing ourselves for a lot of volatility. It's going to be a big year politically as well. Yeah, I, I think that all works in hedge funds' favors, right? If they do what they say that they do best, then hopefully we, sh we can see an uptick in, uh, in performance, which has been lagging. But in fairness, the industry has grown assets under management 8.5% this year based on performance. And this is, I think, the, the best year that we've seen in, in some time in terms of like organic AUM growth. Um, so I think like the, the private side, we're going to continue to see assets coming in there, mm -hmm. hiring on the private side. On the hedge fund side, we're going to see those replacement hires. Um, but overall, I, I think it is going to be a ripe hiring environment for Q1. So it's interesting that you mentioned that private equity funds are trying to get into the hedge fund space mm -hmm. when it's been the opposite. It's also kind of back to the future because we saw this with Carlisle and KKR and Blackstone do this in the past and kind of didn't work out so well for mm -hmm. them. Um, so any idea how they're going to make it different this time? Are they pulling the best and the brightest from hedge funds or are they trying to grow it in-house? Well, as I mentioned, it's very hard for a lot of managers to survive, which is why it's such a ripe market for acquisition. I think that there are better acquisition opportunities for private equity funds now than there have been in the past on the hedge fund side. I think managers are realizing at 500 million, it's really difficult to gain scale. Whereas if you tack yourself to an established private equity firm, you've got infrastructure, you've got marketing, you've got um, all the resources to grow a business that's very attractive to hedge fund managers right now and provides the long-term capital as well so that you know, there's no mass exodus of, of capital all at once.